December 13th, the day after we were packed in ice. Well, guess what? We still are. I'm going to take you on a little walk here down into the garden area. If I can walk any further. This is a beech tree. Seems to be pretty resilient. Hasn't broken any branches yet. Unlike the Smachia amarensis, it doesn't like ice. So, this is part of the shady garden. It's about to become the sunny garden. Wow. That's our poor little crab apple. We're going to prune it just for interest and see if we like it in the spring. And if we don't, down she comes. At least the sky is blue today. And some of these lines are still up. Amazing. Need I tell you, we're without electricity and probably will be for two more days anyway. Moving down into the herb garden. Sunny border. I mean, no, excuse me, shady border. Soon to become sunny border. The Machia really wreaked havoc. Looks like the Myconoides. Heptacodium is okay. Poor old Birch. We were wondering if we should take him down. I think now we know. He's uprooted. Can't get him back. So goodbye, Birch. Further on down, goodbye, Mitten Tree. Sassafras. Oh my. What a mess. Needless to say, this went on in the woods as well. As I said in the previous video, it sounded like what a battlefield must sound like. Crack, crack, crack. Now here is an oak which fell. It was over by the compost pile and it probably just had too sweet a root system. It was weak. So when it came down, it fell right into a linden tree and snapped the linden tree off at the base. This is a Japanese tree. My, it escapes me at the moment. That kind of got a little bent, but not too badly. Looking back at the house, sorry I went so fast. We're okay. Back of the house, the service, the electric service was pulled right off from a limb falling on one of the wires up the street. So, there you have it. Another, another day in the life of packed and ice delivered right to your door.